Sheriff. I'm the MP for Dewsbury, Murfield, Stembydale and Kirk Burton. And for many, many years, well before I was an MP, I've been a campaigner for the NHS. Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. I'm not quite sure that there's ever been anything like it. I think one common theme that unites us all in this area is around saving our vital NHS services. So it is absolutely great that everybody is so focused and, you know, it's absolutely clear. I think everybody you speak to is, is unequivocal that the hospital and all of its services must stay. It's great. I mean, as well as highlighting the issue around the local hospital, I think it's just great for an opportunity for everybody to get together as well. Hopefully the weather will hold out for us. There's lots to do for, for all ages. So it's a great day for the community as well and hopefully as well as raising some much needed funds as well as highlighting the issue people can also have a really good time. I think, you know, it's absolutely clear that the nation um, uh, there's, there's been a significant shift in the nation in terms of you know, politics and people are sick of the cuts they're sick of austerity you know everybody's so many people have seen that their hospital is under threat the serv public services are being decimated by this government so um, I think that there has been a significant change in the public mood. My name's Natalie Ratcliffe. I've been um, involved in the Hands Off IHRI campaign since its inception in uh, January 2016. Um, I've actively campaigned to save the hospital since that date. Um, in terms of this event today, I've, um, I've not actually been involved in the organising of it. I'm, I'm just here to, to support really today. There's been a, a, a big team of people that have organised this um, and have been working very hard since, um, since the last event, um, which was in September last year. I think the efforts of our community have been absolutely staggering. The support we've got is absolutely amazing. I think the money that's been raised for our legal fund, which is from our community, is absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's only just the start of the event and you can see the parks starting to fill up already. People have set the stalls out up on the hill. It's absolutely, the support we've had is absolutely tremendous. And we, we wouldn't have come this far without the support of our community. It's not just a fun day, it, it raise, it's raising awareness about a very important issue for our community and I think things like this are great because and it, it involves all cross sections of the community, adults, children, what, you know, whatever background you're from, I think it, they're really good, really good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to um, our choir singing which is going to happen shortly. Um, I'm probably looking forward to the end of the day when I can sit down really, but um, I, I like listening to the bands and stuff. It, it's just going to be an all round fun day really. Chicken and chips, chicken and chips, everything's going to be here. One more time. Chicken and chips, chicken and chips, chicken and chips tonight. Chicken and chips, chicken and chips, everything's going to be all right. Oh I think it's been a fantastic campaign and I know now I'm down in Parliament that I'm going to be a real thorn in Jeremy Hunt's side because I'm going to keep asking questions and I'm going to keep going back to him and saying you need to review this decision because the local people want to have their own A&E and they want high quality health care in Kirklees. They're important for loads of reasons really. I think they bring the community together which has got to be good. Um, I think we fundraise um, and I think it refocuses on why we're doing it and what's it for, what it's all for. What I'm looking forward to today is meeting people that are involved in the campaign that I may not have seen for a few weeks because I've been down in Westminster. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what my fellow MPs have to say. I know we're on message, but it's good to hear what they've got to say too. Um, coming together with the local community and having a song and dance, I think. <laughs>